Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another Tuesday video. Today I'm going to be talking about my five best and worst moments in horror for 2018. Really quick though, before I get into anything else, I want to say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. Speaking of creepy patron peeps, I'm pretty sure this video was suggested to me by one of them. I want to say Ben or Azul. I'm really sorry that I did it. I had it written down somewhere who it was and then I must have lost where I wrote that down so I apologize. It was their suggestion for me to kind of just go over some of like the best and worst moments in horror for the year. So I'm going to do five of each. Five of the best, five of the worst. Obviously this is my opinion, my personal taste, so don't at me if you don't agree. Perfectly fine that you don't agree. No need to be nasty about it. Right, so these are in no particular order, but let's start with the best moments. I will just say too, these are gonna include spoilers. So just be forewarned. I'm not gonna talk about every single movie of 2018, but spoilers ahead. <laughs> and number five, I have The Strangers Pray at Night pool scene. I put this in here because this scene was just like, surprising AF for a sequel like it's just this sequel like just surprised me for so many reasons but this pool scene kind of kicks off where I realized like oh this sequel is gonna go there it's gonna kill these iconic <laughs> killers like we're not afraid to go there even though only one of them dies in this scene it's a great scene overall it's a great sequence and the sequel ended up being really good I st I like I mean I still don't like it as much as the original one but I was really worried I was thinking like oh gosh we're gonna get like 50 more million sequels now of this but I was really surprised by this uh the sequel and this scene kind of kicks it off like where my jaw hit the floor and I was like okay like I am into this like, all right so number four um is revenge and MFA just in general for changing the rape revenge game while I admit I don't like revenge as much as the next person does I give props where props is due and female directed rape revenge movies are rape revenge movies I can get behind Number three is just hereditary in general because I was debating between either <laughs> choosing Tony Collette's performance in general for just being badass and iconic or huge spoiler that decapitation scene because uh, you know again jaw hit the floor and mad props to whoever edited the trailers for that for not giving any of that away and for making everybody think that the movie was going to be about Charlie and just that that scene man holy shit blew my mind just so you know most iconic <laughs> just goes to hereditary in general number two Jamie Lee Curtis again I will admit I definitely did not like the new Halloween movie as much as pretty much anybody again I give props where props is due and I give mad props to Curtis for biggest horror movie opening with a female lead and biggest horror movie opening with a female lead over 55, like work. And number one is A Quiet Place, the bathtub scene. For all I feel like 2018 was like a pretty iconic moment for women in horror in general. This birth scene is definitely iconic. Like, oh my gosh, somebody who doesn't have kids, like giving birth in general just terrifies me. And then this movie just found a way to make it even more terrifying. Yeah, so those are my, again, in no particular order, don't at me, uh, <laughs> um, five most iconic moments in horror. Now let's move on to the hot tea, the five worst slash most WTF moments in horror 2018. And in no particular order. Number five, Slender Man. Just in general, out of touch people trying to stay hip, um, except they're about 10 years too late. Um, 
what the what the actual F was Slender Man. Number four goes to Vogue, the end all be all of horror knowledge, uh, trying to tell us that 2018 was a bad year for horror. Number three, truth or dare, or how to give away every single scare in the trailer 101. <laughs> trying to make a game that already gives like most socially awkward people anxiety like scary but then just failing miserably like I feel like you could have just had actual people playing the game of truth or dare and most of us millennials who aren't great at social interactions anyway um, would have been terrified. <laughs> Number two goes to Day of the Dead Bloodlines. Uh Thanks for reminding us all just how much we miss George A. Romero zombie movies. <laughs> and number one, I said in no particular order, um, the other four are in no particular order. This one, hands down, goes to number one worst moment in horror for 2018. The toxic fans of Halloween for giving us real horror fans a bad name. All suck, I'm sorry I keep mentioning it. But seriously, it was like, just in horror in general, for the year, it's gotta be the worst moment. Like, <laughs> you gave us all a bad name. <laughs> all right, so those are my best and worst moments for horror 2018. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if this is something you wanna see, you know, next year and the year after that and the year after that. Comments will probably mostly be like, Vicky, we don't want to see you next year at all. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what your five best and worst moments horror 2018 um, are. I want to know. I'm really excited to see your guys' answers for that, like what you guys think are the best and worst moments. So please share. Um, if you enjoyed this video, which I do hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday and you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye!